Auscultation of the abdomen, the use of the stethoscope to listen, is to generally assess bowel sounds and bruise or murmurs. Use the diaphragm of your stethoscope. Warm up the diaphragm of your stethoscope by placing it in your hands. This makes it more comfortable when laid on the skin of the patient. Listen for bowel sounds in the abdomen to the right of the umbilicus, where the mid portion of the small bowel is located. Proceed to listen to all four quadrants. Normally, bowel sounds are low-pitched, gurgling sounds that occur every 5 to 10 seconds with peristalsis, or bowel movement. Note that this frequency varies per person. Therefore, listen for at least two minutes before concluding that the bowel sounds are absent. Absence of bowel sounds for greater than two minutes of listening may indicate that there is no peristalsis, which usually implies an ileus. Very high-pitched bowel sounds can be associated with a mechanical obstruction, such as a small bowel obstruction, which increases the volume and frequency of bowel sounds. Here is a demonstration of auscultation of all four quadrants. Listen for at least 5 to 10 seconds in each quadrant. Auscultation for bruies is an important part of the exam. A bruy is an abnormal swishing or blowing sound from blood flowing through a narrow or partially occluded artery. It can be thought of as a vascular murmur. Please note, a bruy is auscultated or heard versus a thrill, which has a similar pathology but is palpated. There are five areas in the abdominal exam to auscultate a bruy: the aorta, bilateral renal arteries, bilateral iliac arteries, hepatic artery, and the splenic artery. Place the stethoscope about two-thirds down from the xiphoid, or epigastrium, between it and the umbilicus for the aorta. Place the stethoscope about three centimeters superior and lateral to the umbilicus on both the left and right side for the bilateral renal arteries. On some people, this may be approximated by drawing an imaginary line down the point just proximal to the midclavicular line. Place the stethoscope about three centimeters inferior and lateral to the umbilicus on both the left and right side for the iliac arteries. Place the stethoscope along the right costal margin, laterally at approximately the midclavicular line for the hepatic artery. Place the stethoscope along the left costal margin, approximately two centimeters inferior and lateral, moving posteriorly to the midclavicular line. This accounts for the posterior location of the spleen for the splenic artery. Auscultate for bruies over the aorta, bilateral renal arteries, and bilateral iliac arteries. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.